Hi, I'm Meg. And I'm David. Welcome to The Average Vegans, a podcast to help you live an attainable vegan lifestyle. We're not the ripped influencer vegans you hear about in other podcasts. We're just some ordinary people living in the South, eating plants and loving animals. and cheese taste test today. Everyone has wanted this. We're pretty excited. I'm have, super excited because well, pasta and cheese. We have eight different kinds. Eight. We're super stoked. There's different brands. I don't think we have a duplicate of any brand. So these are, you know, you can find them anywhere, everywhere, all kinds of places. Whole Foods, Sprouts, um, some from like Publix, uh, Kroger, whatever is near you. Um, we have some that are pretty unique, some of that are like very typical kind of cheddar looking ones. So we're pretty excited. Um, we do have an off camera, non-vegan uh, little taste tester for us as well. So you'll get to hear somebody else's votes. Um, you also might hear a whine and it's a dog who is trying desperately to get to the mac and cheese. So <laughs> sorry about that. Such is life. <laughs> Um, so on social media, this will be broken into different videos. We're doing two to two at a time on YouTube. You'll probably see it stitched together as one, but right. you see some jumping, some changes. Uh, that's why you're seeing that there. Um, the so we have, like I said, we have eight mm -hmm. um, uh, mac and cheeses, uh, and then we're <laughs> doing five uh, categories. Yes. So we're doing follow your heart and Uptons, which is our first one. Yeah. Uh, modern. We'll repeat this again as we're testing them. Modern Daya. Uh, modern day, Mia, modern day, uh, Bonza, uh, Howl, Postabilities, and Annie's. Uh, we're basing them on smell, the texture of the pasta, texture of the cheese. Two different things. Two different things. <laughs> uh, taste and appearance. Um, so we'll grade them from one, uh, there's five categories. We're going to grade them one through five. Uh, we'll uh, close the winners if we tally everything. Yep. Uh, but we're doing Follow Your Heart in Upton yes. uh, first. These are the two that you, uh, you brought in. Yes, yeah, so grab that Follow Your Heart box. This one. one is Creamy Califredo Ooh. Super Mac Vegan. Right? That's a cute little name. Um, and this is how much you have in the bowl and what it looks like. And I'm doing this okay. because some of them don't give you as much. Um, so here we go. Califredo. Holy Fredo. I can't say Cali it correctly. Fredo. It sounds so silly. Okay. Right. So it's, it's kind of a whitish color. It's got like a very kind of like the traditional craft look. Yeah, the shape of it is a normal craft. We didn't put any seasoning in these, so there's right. no salt or pepper or anything. Just straight out of the box, falls right from the box. That was it. So <laughs> the smell, I mean, it doesn't stink. It doesn't have any other smells at all. No. I mean, mm. I mean, I have to give it. I'm gonna give it a three for scent because yeah. it's like kind of nothing. The appearance gets a two for me. Yeah, it, it just looks like white pasta. It looks like white white it pasta. Some feeling to it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you, the the off camera non vegan says a three for appearance. What's as the well. smell like to you? Is it just like not smell good? It smell like anything, or is it? It doesn't smell like. It has no yeah. to it. And smell. It's important. The smell is a very important part of taste. And right. The taste is very like. Yeah, yeah, it's almost like it's nothing there. Like the mm -hmm. pasta, but to me, it's like tastes like spicy pasta. It has, it's spicy. It's like a pepperiness to it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, taste. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with like a three again. No, I'm gonna go with a two because it doesn't have any flavor. It's just spicy, which I like spicy, I like peppery pasta. Peppery. Yeah, I'm gonna spicy. go with the two for taste as well. The texture of the pasta is not bad. That's fine for me. I'm gonna say like a four for I'm that. Go with a two on that one. It's bush. But the texture for cheese, there, there is no texture for cheese. There's yeah. like nothing there, two so there. I'm gonna go with, yeah, two there too. Yeah, the top pasta for me on texture got it too, because there's no, there's no, I like a, to chew on something, like something weird. Yes. Um, not quite al dente, just a shade past. This is basically just like, it was like a pasty thing. Yeah. It's just kind of mushed. So I'm gonna go with a two Sorry. all around, I think. Yeah, I got a three and a bunch of twos. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a two all around because I, it wasn't that, it wasn't good. Which is sad because Follow Your Heart is my one of my favorite cheeses. If you watch our yeah, vegan Parmesan cheese really taste test, it's, I love their cheese. I get it every time, but not my fave. 
So now we're on to Upton. On to Upton's. Um, <coughs> I this. have to say this. Go ahead. This comes with the pasta pre-made, pre-cooked. So it's soft pasta and like a plastic thing. And the cheese, and you literally just put the cheese and pasta together in a pan. Yeah. This actually has some like, you added butter and you added stuff to it and it was like you made it. Yeah, so this one has like a bunch of ingredients to it, which, you know, but most of them are whole food, like right. the seasonings. A um, lot of like, the, the carrots, it's like carrot powder and onion powder and stuff like that. This has like maybe five just ingredients and it's cheese based, it's just nutritional yeast. Oh, this one has a lot of stuff. You can tell. Um, mm. so this is the Uptons. Uh, they make a lot of like safe and mixed products as well. They do, which I love. This just comes like all the other ones. I had to cook the mac oh, and see, cheese, the, the pasta. It's cheesier, the smell. Mm -hmm. And it's nutritional yeast. It's gonna, that's just by, by nature. Really. You can tell immediately that it's mm -hmm. nutritional yeast. Interesting. So appearance, I'm gonna give it a, give it a, give it a, um, I'm gonna give it a four. It's kind of yeah, pretty. Yeah, four. Yeah, it's yellow. It's got the like the, the the mac and cheese look to it. It's kind of a thicker elbow, so I kind of like that. It's different. It smells a four. The cheese texture. I'm gonna go with like a three. I'm gonna do like a. Taste is a three. And. I mean the pasta taste. The texture of it is good. It's got chew. It's definitely chewier mm, than the. Other I'm one. gonna yeah. I'm gonna give it lower than the other one. I'm gonna do a three. Yeah. All right. So I got. Smells of pork. This smells, smells like it smells cheesy, which mm -hmm. is good. Uh, it's not playing the other one with. Um, mm -hmm. The pasta texture of number three is chewier, but yep. it's just still kind of mushy to me. But it's still che much chewier, which is much I like. The cheese texture I gave a three because it's just it's it's there. There's something there at least. <laughs> it's not just doesn't taste like feel like pasta in your mouth. It actually has like the last one, it. like the follow your heart. Yeah. Right. That was just like plain. <laughs> it's just, it was you, the, the the pepper on it had more texture than the cheese itself. Yes. Uh, taste, I gave a three because it's there. Mm -hmm. It's something there. It's, it's good. We literally gave the same scores. Yeah, and apparently I did it before as well. But yeah. It has a mac and cheese look to it. It's, it's not like creamy on there, but it has to have a color to it. Right. Like so like that's that. like an overall three, is basically what I gave it. Yeah. So, we'll tell you. Not the best scores so far, okay. but that's the first two. Next, we're going to do Modern Table and the Daya one. So, okay. All right, we'll slide in. Okay. We are doing Modern Table Vegan Sauce and Pasta Creamy Parmesan and Herb. Me neither. It is very modern looking. So we're just showing that one is, is this says lentils, rice, and peas, uh, which I love peas. I've, I've mentioned peas my, my secret, like you can everything <laughs> up, put up your, uh, your um, uh, protein in your um, stuff. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> I always want to see what the sauce is made of. And this one's got a yeast extract, turmeric. And uh, citric acid and some spices. Very similar to the Upton, actually. Did I steal your spoon? Uh, yes. I also don't know what I did with it. So, <laughs> just kidding. I don't know if you showed her, but this is like the volume. So, we're basically getting roughly about half a cup each, roughly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, the volume is mm, kind of iffy on this one. Let's uh, like intersect into this one. If you watch our first video, on this, our Upton only has this much. It's probably enough for maybe maybe two people. Yeah, that. it's the worst. So I yeah. totally forgot to show that. But okay, okay, we're doing modern table, creamy Parmesan herb style this pasta. This is not like a normal typical mac and cheese. It's got kind of like um, like green pieces. Whoa! Of herbs on the front. So I mean, smells look at very it. aromatic. Look, it looks very much more side dishy, not mm -hmm. as much mac and cheesy. Mm -hmm. Let's say uh, very very pretty in present presentation. Um, again, smells a lot more savory than this cheesy. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna give uh, so. Me wow. A, All right. Why wow, I'm so here's, shocked. Here's what, here's what I like about this one, real quick. Before we get into this. I would, I would. All of these out of the season. Yes. A little salt, a little extra mm -hmm. salt. Definitely a lot of pepper. I like peppery um, pot, mac and cheeses. Um, maybe a little garlic pepper. Um, this I wouldn't season at all. No. That's interesting. Yeah, it's got um, plenty of flavor. I would go four Strong more. flavor. Wow. I'm giving fours so far across the board. The appearance Maybe like a four. three for the appearance because I don't really like the. It's an interesting, but it's not, not like, ooh. The aftertaste goes away fast, though. Like, Where it's like gone, gone? It's gone. Like it's, it's good at the beginning and the aftertaste goes away. You give a six on the taste? Interesting. interesting. And this is the non vegan on the side. 
We so she would have five damage, basically. Yeah. Right? Okay, but she gives extra point for, for, uh, for, for, for yeah. Her. Wow. Um, that's interesting. That is a good one. I do one. a full on taste, though. That's pretty good. I do a three on appearance. It's probably something you might not even pick. I'm going to go three on, on cheese texture and pasta texture each. Really? I'm giving a four to everything. I really here's, like it. I'm shocked. What? I'm a weird pinch in there. Um, <laughs> pasta is a little mushy for me. Okay, okay. All right, so three. It's, it's, it's definitely not just goop like the other, like mm -hmm. the like Koyo Heart was, but um, it's definitely a little, little, little mushier than I would like. Um, the cheese texture, it's there's no cheese texture to me. I mean, yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> I want to say there's cheese. Like, these, these, the other one had like, like a cheesy kind of like coating on it. That's this true. This is more like, for me, if you just took butter and put the herbs on there, I think you get cheese texture. Oh. Mm, okay. It's there, but not, not as heavy. You, might, you might influence my, my score on that one actually a little bit. But I, I still, the rest of it, the camera goes off. I but. still get a four. I think from my score, like maybe a three point five four or something like that. It's pretty yeah. good. Surprising. It's good actually. Yeah. What I I was dead sure I wasn't gonna like that one because it, it doesn't look as appetizing to me and it's got like a strong herby fl uh, smell to it. But it's really good. Great, it's definitely a great side dish. I mean, it's because of the herbs yeah. too. It's definitely a lot more savory than it was just the mac and cheese. So um, next is Daya. Yes, that mm -hmm. one. Now, Dea has its strong uh, opinions in the uh, in the vegan community. People hate Dea products. Um, Bethany, one thing I do like about this is they have like the, the mm -hmm. cheesy gooby bag, um, and it's uh, there's a lot of extras in here. Um, it's hard to really. It's Dea is known for like having like coconut oil, a lot of oils and stuff, and thickeners in their cheeses. Um, but yeah, it's kind of white, and uh, it's kind of like a white little little mm -hmm. So. Um, this goes. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm trying not to be like mean and biased. Because okay. you know I don't like their cheese. So smell I'm gonna go with um with a three. There's nothing much there. Um I'm it doesn't stink, but it just hasn't done much to it. Uh <laughs> cost texture I'm going with a two is basically two. Uh -huh. It it's is. Good. Cheese texture. I'm gonna go with a two again because it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's just like thick water. Yeah, and I gave it a smell of a two as Off well. Camera gives it a one. Yeah, <laughs> it's just not. It's just literally just goopy. It's just, Taste. It's I'm watery. literally giving it a two as well, and you're lucky it gets that. It's uh, a two overall. Same. And appearance, appearance, I'll give it a two. That's wow. actually really well. I was actually rooting for. I like they their noodle cheese. I know. Not like, I'm okay with their like regular cheeses because it's just a go-to. Although I might have to stop using it for other reasons. Um. But it, it, it's got the same follow your heart, honestly. It's not as far as heart actually yeah. spicier, which I like. But, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. That was unpleasant. Sorry, no, guys. No bueno. No bueno. Which sucks because I wonder if, like, if we tried the cheddar one, if we would like it more. But I don't I don't know because the texture is so funky, monkey, and I don't know. Ooh, I don't it's like just it. it's just very, it's almost like thick slime a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Oh, I didn't try too well. Not, not finishing the plate now. No, that one I will. That one I won't. Okay, so okay. coming up next, we got the Ban the Bonza, Mobile Bonza, and Howl. So yeah, two one. brands I've never said out loud or seen this one at all. So exciting! All right, see you guys. We are doing instead the Bonza, maybe Banza, but I'm gonna do Bonza and yeah. Howl. Uh, so I put both these on. Yeah, let's do Bonza first. Okay, so do Bonza first. Bonza is the only one that is gluten free as well. I have to use their pasta for making uh, like spaghettis and pasta bakes and stuff like that. Um, nutritional yeast, sea salt, paprika. It's kind of your typical um, cheese powder stuff, but it also has like coconut oils and yeast in it as well, which is kind of a combo of stuff. So this is the bonza. It also uses the shell. It's not regular pasta. It uses like shells. So yeah. Like elbow macaroni and things like that. It looks very like when you were a kid, kind of old school. So does the other one we're going to do as well. Um, the smell... Um, I, uh, it, when we're done eating, I'll tell you what I think it smells like. I don't want to ruin it, but there's something that is a smell that I'm not a huge fan of. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. It oh, smells no. and tastes like Play Doh. Mm hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Follow up question. Why do I need that? Listen. <laughs> Just once. <laughs> but you never forget that when you were in your it feels, it feels like you remember the table plate, it had to be somewhat recent. 
I know. It never leaves your brain. We didn't talk about how much alcohol you consumed the other day. Are you sure you guys were just like, well, what was, was the playoffs? I was like, I don't remember. That's disgusting. So. That's. Oh. Yeah, there's, there's no. definitely a bad smell to it. I don't, I'm not a fan of it. Oh. The pasta. I like the texture of the pasta, though. The texture of the pasta is perfectly fine. Hell yeah, I'm perfect. doing a four. Yeah, I'm going to do a four in the texture. I like the texture. The cheese, there's Take, barely anything I'm on there. I'm going to go with a two on there. Yeah, nothing, me too. You have the color, but nothing on there. Taste gets one. I can't. I, I, do, I mean, I'll do a two on the taste. It's not, it's not, I'm not going to like spit it out, but I'm not happy with it. Um, so I have a three, four, two, one, and three. I have, yeah, I have a three on I don't, appearance. I don't really know what that is. I have a three on appearance. Uh, I mean, it looks like mac and cheese. It has an appearance of mac and cheese. It looks like there's sauce in there, but when you actually eat it, it's like there's no sauce on it. Uh, um, and the flavor wow. is not to what I would consider to be desirable. Which stings because I really love chickpea pasta I so think, much. I think if I added like nutritional yeast, a little bit of pepper, salt, and some garlic in there, maybe I can save that. But as but, is, no, no way, no way. No way. Wowie. No, sir. Okay, next. Howell vegan mac and cheese creamy cashew sauce, sharp cheddar style. We love the packaging and the branding for cool. this. Yeah. Very cool. So, this is the only cashew based one. Mm -hmm. um, and it looks there's pretty good. No extra, extra no added uh, oils either. It's nutritional yeast, cashews, waters, and thickeners. Okay. And lemon juice and stuff like that. So. Uh, smell good. I go with a four. I got a cheesy smell good. It's not as hit that I'd hope it'd be. Hmm. Cross texture is a four. That's the texture's like. fine. Yeah, I'll do a four on that. Cheese texture three. Is not much cheese yeah, texture there. There's really not. The smell. I'm doing a three as well. Um, the appearance. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna give it a three. I was the same. Yeah, taste. It's all right. Taste, taste cheesy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the three as well. No else to it. Okay. Yeah. There. Yeah. It's really nothing to brag about. You probably could really play this one up. It's a good very base. Very easily. Very yes. good base. Mm -hmm. So yes. I like that way of thinking about it. It is a good base because, like this, not a good base. This I could make I, this better. And I will say, good. It, it, this one was probably the creamiest one that I made when I first made it. It mm -hmm. did get trapped. It trapped like over an hour here. We had to heat them up. So some heating may have been involved in some of the textures here. Um, this was a lot creamier in the, in the pot, but definitely absorbed that creaminess and became what this is. So that I don't like. I wish it would have kept its yeah. creaminess. So mm. um, okay, not horrible, but mm -hmm. all right. So next we have possibilities and Annie's. Yes. So um, Annie's is the non-vegan uh, side judge over here. She loves Annie's. The one of the the options that are vegan, she loves them. So we'll see. Um, we did do a little mini so recently about some Annie's controversy, but still love mac and cheese. So fine. And then we've never had the other one, so this is gonna be a good one to end on. Woo! All right. All right. Real. Okay, last and final vegan mac and cheese taste test episode, whatever. Um, let's start with the possibilities. Good day pasta and vegan cheddar pasta ruffles. It's what? wet. It is wet. I'm just wondering. Oh, okay. It's wet. Okay. So to so this one is it's a lot. It's a, it's got a lot more of like rosemary, a lot more seasoning stuff in it than the other ones do. Um, a lot of oils. I can't really tell what the sauce is in there. Oh, it's. Basically oils and thickeners and seasoning. So it's not really like steak or cheese or anything. Weird. Okay. Um, okay. I'm not a big fan of the shape of the pasta. Mm. No. Okay, so I'm gonna smell it too. And taste the smell. Mm -hmm. Horrible. Mm-hmm. Like a the pasta it's almost plasticky in smell. The pasta's getting a two. I don't like it. The way it, oh. texture gets a two. Yep, I don't like that. Cheese texture gets a that's a two. Yeah, I, it's, it's, it's dry. There's nothing there. It's just weird. Weird, yeah. The taste. I mean, that's a two for me. Yeah, I was thinking two too. It's not even good. It's but just the, like, it I'm looks it. pretty. I'm gonna give it a three. Pasta burrito. Pasta burrito. I mean, apparently, yeah, the three, but. Uh. Uh, that was that was, that was that was a monster. I don't know what. Man, if non-vegan sign this video, they're gonna be like, I told the you. <laughs> almost becomes like chalk-like. Yeah, it's that cooked, is. It's cooked well. It's fine. Yeah, it it's looks crunchy. pretty. It's just no, nope, 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 not nope. At all. So the last and final one uh, is the uh, Annie's vegan mac macaroni cheddar flavor. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, I always like to see the different things. Again, your seasonings, a lot of oils, uh, thickeners, and some seasoning. So not like nutritional yeast in there. So it's definitely high in oils if that's a concern for you. It's a craft dupe. Look it's at definitely this. Definitely sounds like craft. Looks no. just like craft. So like for appearance, you get a lot of it though for the box. Yes, for appearance, it gets a four for me because it looks so authentic to what we grew up eating. Um, the smell of it, I mean, that's a, I still too, to me, it's, it's, the smell is very similar to, um, yeah. possibilities. It's just very similar. Oh my God. The texture, I just like the texture of the pasta here. The I'm texture's gonna, fine. I'll give it a three. That's all I'm doing too. There's barely any cheese, so I'm going to go with a two and I'm you're lucky. Three. The taste gets a two and that's being nice. I hate the that too. And the appearance is a four because I think it, it looks authentic. No. Yeah. So this is probably like a 2.5. So the only one we super liked wasn't even a mac and cheese. Yeah. It was a side dish pasta. Our modern table was our probably our winner. Uh, was it? Upton for me was the uh, second place. Okay. Yeah. Upton was second place. Um, then Howell for me. Then Howell. Yep. Yeah. So we'll, we'll tell these out. We'll, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll put them on, 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 on our notes. Um, and uh, we'll put in our notes also be on the video. Yes. So the these are like what we're going to assume are the winners for now, but Modern Table um, and the Upton Cheesy Mac. When this one is like the easiest thing on the planet to make, it's kind of seems weird, but it's so easy. Howl is a good base. We yeah. both agree that this one could be base. made better with put like... Put some broccoli in that, maybe a little like... Kind of extra cheese. Or something yeah. That. yeah put some like tree line cheese in there and I might cry. Yeah. It's my favorite. Love you, tree line. You're the best. Um, Non-vegan, do you agree? What are you thinking? What, are you, what was your what was your favorite? Um, the the this one? No, I don't. I don't. I don't know what the this one. Yeah. Yeah. The spirally okay. one. Yeah, the spirally one with the spices and what, stuff. What, what was your favorite traditional mac and cheese style one though? Um, Doesn't have to be one of these. Three of them. The Annie's one. The one the, we just had. Last one. Interesting. Yeah. More of the more craft like one? Yeah. yeah. I'm not saying you're wrong. I just interesting. Interesting. We are wrong. <clears throat> All right. So that's our choices. We might have to do another one of these in a few months because there's so many other options. And right. we didn't really find one we super like. So maybe we'll be on the hunt. And if you have any homemade mac and cheese mm. vegan recipes, let us know. And maybe we can do an episode where we try some homemade options. You know, because Perhaps the box versions aren't the best, and maybe we can make some homemade ones too. So, it's an idea. Right. Yep. All right. That's well, it. That's our last one. So, uh, I guess, as always, in these things, until next time. Bye, guys. Bye.